Okay, so uh, here we are guys, just out shooting still. Uh, I got the Norenko Type uh, 97 Bullpup. It's a 5.56 mm or 223. Uh, it's a pretty nice gun. It's got a little muzzle brake on the end there. Uh, it's got open sights. We may put something on there in the future, but... Uh, Might as well mention this messed up thing. Uh, we got the short clip in there. That's a 10 round pistol capacity magazine. Like I said again, Canada sucks. Canada sucks, but uh, we got 10 rounds in there. I'm just gonna hip fire it. Uh, see what we can do with this thing. Bull pop bump firing. Seems bad. Seems like a bad idea, but... Let's start the show. <laughs> Let's start the show. Safety zone, you always want to be safe, everybody. <laughs> yep. You're going to cut that out of there, right, Jacob? Nope. Wait, okay, i got to get it out there. Ready? Yep. Like I said, 10 rounds, Canada sucks. Explain how to do that. You didn't really do a great job, but we'll try again in the, what was that in the future. No, you did a good job. I was bump firing. So, what you want to do is have probably a 30 round clip. Yep, just like they should be, but, but they're legal, sucks. so we stick to the legal stuff around here. Oh, yeah. What you want to do, put the gun down here. You want to stick your thumb through where the trigger is and into your pocket. Yeah. And then what you want to do is pull the gun forward. And you want to keep pressure forward and let the gun do the work. So every recoil will put it back in place and it's called uh, bump fire and really. You can do it standing, like without it in your pocket too. You just have to be talented. Yeah, you know. I'm not that talented. Yeah. But we'll try that again another day. See if we can get it to go a little bit better. Stay tuned. Um, I'm better with the SKS. Yeah. Like and subscribe to the video. Bye-bye. <laughs>